Well, this winter has been nothing short of a roller coaster, and now the snow this morning, a bit of a wake up call. The roads were dicey. There were more than 150 crashes during the morning commute, but today is really just the beginning. There is a no travel advisory near Wilmer tonight. The sheriff's office there sharing this photo of whiteout conditions, and this, of course, all ahead of a multi day mess making its way toward Minnesota. Off the top of the 10 at 10, we're tracking this winter storm that could have major impacts and disruptions for your plans this week. We have team coverage, of course, tonight. Minneapolis taking a rare step, opening up parking ramps for residents who usually have to park on the street so they can get the streets clear. And all across the state, there's a mad rush to stock up on necessities. But first, let's start with Chief Meteorologist Ian Leonard. So, Ian, how are things shaping up right now? You know, we're changing slightly from where we were last night to where we were this afternoon to where we are now in terms of the overall forecast. But for years, I've been saying if you follow the colors, you can follow the track of the coming storm out of the northern Rockies, across the northern plains, and right into our little portion of the upper Midwest. The winter storm warning that was much smaller earlier today has been expanded. That's everywhere in purple. The white, a winter storm watch. These both go into effect Tuesday afternoon, and they're with us all the way into Thursday evening. That's why we're talking about a multi day high impact winter storm. And if there's a takeaway here, it is not about snow totals or an actual winter storm. It's about a high impact winter storm. We'll talk about uh, problems with where to put the snow, problems with where to park, problems with travel and commute busting waves. We're talking about two waves of snow. One wave starts uh, late tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. The second wave is Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And by the time we're finished, metro specific 14 to 18 inches plus with some locations at 20 plus. And we just mentioned this over the last few hours. This has nothing to do with the storm and it's actually not snowing. But notice these counties right here all illuminated. Those are in a special weather statement until midnight. Snow blowing off the ground, something we call ground blizzard conditions. That wind whipping out of the northwest of 40 plus miles per hour. Reduced visibility in I-94 is a mess. As I mentioned, this isn't a part of what's to come. What's to come is plenty in and of itself. I'm going to talk more about timing and actual totals when I return here in about 15 minutes. Time to start staying sky aware, my friends. We'll mm -hmm. see you then. All right, Ian, thanks. Well, whether you have travel plans by plane or you're just driving into work, preparations are well underway. Several airlines already offering waivers out of MSP so that people can try to avoid these travel headaches. And MnDOT has a full call out of plows that have been treating the roads all day. Here's a live look at the MnDOT plow map. Plows are right now in the northwest corner of the state where State Patrol says 100 miles of 94, seeing spin outs and crashes. Now back here in the Twin Cities, the city of Minneapolis is preparing right now so that they can clear the streets. Yeah, they're preparing for the worst. They want residents to prepare as well. Their message here, just plan ahead. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joins us live from Minneapolis. So Rose, the city trying to help people make those plans. Amy, this is fairly uncommon according to the city's public works director. The city will be opening up more than 1600 spots across five lots. This one here at Vineland Place or the Walker Underground Ramp is the largest. If you're feeling that winter fatigue, take some of Aaron Rubenstein's positivity. I like snow, I like winter. I don't mind. And get used to this sound. Obviously, I was just uh, shoveling a little late in the day, but get a little head start on what's yet to come this week. Minneapolis city officials say that's a smart move. As the snow falls, we're going to be out there immediately to make sure that we're doing our part. And at the same time, if we get hit with 21 inches, it could take a bit of time to clear. They're advising people to work from home if they can and make a plan now of what they'll do with their cars. The city currently has winter parking restrictions in place. If you don't have another option, you can park for free in one of these five lots. Three are already open and Salvation Army and Lynn Lake will be ready to go by 2 p.m. Tuesday. This means that we are putting everything that we have at this storm and we started planning over the weekend for this. The city's public works director says she will likely call a snow emergency Wednesday morning and she's even prepared to call multiple back to back. Another strong possibility is we do day one of the snow emergency 
cancel the rest of that snow emergency and start again because we need to keep these snow emergency routes open. 60 pieces of equipment will be out on the roads. Minneapolis is canceling other regular maintenance so that anyone with a commercial driver's license will be clearing snow this week. And beginning Tuesday, there will be a daily alley plow so people like Aaron can get out of their garages. It's Minnesota, it's winter, we'll get through it. Clearing sidewalks is up to homeowners and city officials are asking that you look down your block and if there's anyone there who can't clear large amounts of snow by themselves, take it upon yourself and become their snow angel this week. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9. Well, if you live in Minnesota, Wisconsin, you know what to do when a storm like this is around the corner. And we're all making sure the fridge is stocked and the snow blowers are working. Our Bab Santos joining us from Minneapolis and people are preparing, stocking up because they know they might have to hunker down for a little bit, Babs. Definitely, yeah, there's been such a rush to stores like this one that today the owner of this store told us he has sold 50 snow blowers between his three locations. Snow is a huge engine for Minnesota's economy because it trickles down to a lot of different things. Many people rushed to hardware stores during the calm before the storm on Monday, stocking up on any final items needed to hunker down before the latest winter storm comes to town. We've been packed here in the store and on the phone five times busier easily. I mean, it's just crazy because everything starts to go. Knowing that inventory would go quickly, Andrew Rebel called by phone and secured his new snowblower early in the day. I'm going to push most of the snow and then I'll use this to blow it up, especially when the bank gets high. And he'll use this battery powered machine to get the job done. With all of the increased demand at Mark Suttergren's South Minneapolis hardware store, by the afternoon, Suttergren was sold out of most snowblowers and down to the last of his salt. All of that has been selling all day long, many bags at a time, not just one, but they're really stocking up so they can get through the storm. Getting around on two wheels while out on his rounds clearing snow, David Anderson already had all of the tools he needs, and he stocked up on fuel a week ago. I picked up a lot of water, some food, some fruits, some nuts, um, just uh, basic essentials that if the storm does hit, that I don't have to run to the store. And this store will be restocking a lot of its inventory by Wednesday, but still, regardless of where you plan to go shop, if you do need to pick something up, it's obviously worth the reminder, just call ahead to make sure that they do have that item in stock this week. Live in Minneapolis, Bab Santos. Fox 9. And if you don't have our weather app right now, it is a good time to get it. It has traffic, radar, uh, sp school closings, any watches or warnings as well from our meteorologists. And this is something that you can download for free. Also tonight in your tenant.